Reading a clock. Did you ever observe a clock carefully? Look at these clocks. A clock tells us time in hours and minutes. The face of the clock is called its dial. On its dial, numbers from 1 to 12 are marked at equal intervals. It has three hands. The longest hand is called second hand. It moves the fastest. It completes one round of the dial in 60 seconds or one minute. So 60 seconds is equal to one minute. The shorter hand is called the minute hand. It moves slower than the second hand. It takes five minutes to move from one number to another. It completes one round of the dial in 60 minutes or one hour. The shortest hand is called the hour hand. It moves the slowest. It takes one hour to go from one number to another. All the hands move as shown here. It is called clockwise movement. When you close the lid of a jar, you go clockwise. And when you open it, you go anticlockwise. Here, the hour hand is at 7 and the minute hand is at 12. So the time is 7 o'clock. We can also write it as 7.00. When the minute hand is at 12, the time is the exact hour shown by the hour hand. Now observe this clock. Here, the hour hand is halfway between 2 and 3. The minute hand is at 6. So the time is 30 minutes after 2. We write it as half past 2 or 2.30. So when the minute hand is at 6, the time is half past the hour. Again, look at this clock. Here the minute hand is at 3. The hour hand is between 8 and 9 and closer to 8. The time is 15 minutes after 8. We write it as quarter past 8 or 8.15. So when the minute hand is at 3, the time is quarter past the hour. We know that the minute hand moves from one number to the next in 5 minutes. So we can find the number of minutes indicated by the minute hand using the multiplication table of 5. If the minute hand is at 2, then it is 5 into 2, which is equal to 10 minutes. If the minute hand is at 8, then it is 5 into 8 equals to 40 minutes. Now think of the dial of a clock as two halves as shown here. When the minute hand is in first half hour, we use the word past. And when the minute hand is in the second half hour, we use the word two. In this clock, the minute hand is at four. It means five into four, which is equal to 20 minutes have been passed. The hour hand is between 10 and 11 and the minute hand is in first half hour. So write the time as 
ट्वेंटी मिनट्स पास्ट टेन और टेन पॉइंट ट्वेंटी ऑब्जर्व दिस क्लॉक हियर द मिनिट हैंड इज एट टेन इट मीन्स फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टेन इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी मिनिट्स हैव बीन पास्ट द आवर हैंड इज बिटवीन थ्री एंड फोर so we can write the time as 50 minutes past 3 but as a convention when the minute hand is in the second half hour we use the word 2 so to write this time we consider the number of minutes to the next hour we see that the minute hand has yet to travel 10 minutes to reach the next hour which is 4 over here So we write the time as ten minutes to four. Observe this clock. The hour hand is between five and six. The minute hand is at nine, that is in the second half hour. So five multiplied by nine is equal to forty-five minutes have been passed. it means the minute hand has get to travel 15 minutes or one quarter to reach the next hour of 6 so the time is quarter to 6 or 5.45 so far we have been reading time to 5 minutes correctness Let us now read the time to the exact minute. The interval between two numbers is divided into five equal parts. So there are twelve into five, that is sixty equal parts. When the minute hand moves from one number to the next number, five minutes have passed. and when the minute hand moves from one smaller part to the next part one minute has passed look at this clock the hour hand is between 8 and 9 the minute hand is three small divisions beyond 4 so the number of minute after the hour is equal to 4 into 5 plus 3 this is equal to 20 plus 3 and this is 23 so the time on the clock is 8.23 when we say that it is 7 o'clock it may be 7 o'clock early in the morning or 7 o'clock in the evening to avoid this confusion we use am and pm notations the time between 12 midnight and 12 noon is denoted as am the time between 12 noon and 12 midnight is denoted as pm for example 7 o'clock in the morning is denoted as 7 am similarly 5:30 in the evening is denoted as 5:30 pm remember we do not attach am or pm to 12 we write 12 at midnight as 12 midnight and 12 at noon as 12 noon in the commonly used 12 hour clock system The day is divided into two 12-hour periods. The first period is from 12 midnight to 12 noon and is denoted as AM. The second period is from 12 noon to 12 midnight and is denoted as PM. The 12-hour clock system can create confusion if we do not write AM or PM. with the morning or evening time so we use a 
24 hours clock system. In the 24 hour clock system, time is expressed using four digits. The number formed by the first two digits from the left gives the hours and the number formed by the next two digits gives the minutes. So 12 midnight is written as 00 hours or 2400 hours. 12 noon is written as 1200 hours. To convert the time expressed as AM into 24-hour clock system, we write the hours and minutes without the dots. Note that we always express hours and minutes each as a two-digit number. So 4.15 is written as 0415 hours and not as 415 hours. 10.08 a.m. is written as 1008 hours and not as 108 hours. When the time is in p.m., we add 12 to the hour to express it as a 24-hour clock system.